Good afternoon, it's Adil uh, Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing a review of the European markets for the uh, trading session Thursday, the 15th of December 2016. This is a midday update. Please do visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app on the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now uh, let's try and fathom the, uh, the moves overnight post FOMC. In terms of Asian markets, first and foremost, you have the uh, Asian indices, uh, more or less negative. You have the Shanghai down 0.7%, the Hang Seng down 1.7%, the Nikkei more or less at present. It's uh, more or less flat, okay, and the Asian Dow down as well. So you also have the Australian markets down overnight too. In terms of uh, economic data this morning and overnight, uh, the main uh, focus was on the uh, manufacturing P&I from Japan. That came in slightly better than expected, although the machine tool orders came in weaker. In terms of uh, European PMIs, you have French PMIs that came in on the stronger side. Uh, German PMIs, one came in stronger. The composite came in stronger, but the services came in weaker. Okay, and uh, the manufacturing actually came in slightly stronger as well. The European PMIs all came in more or less uh, uh, positive. Okay, so certainly uh, on the uh, brighter side. In terms of UK retail sales, actually came in more or less in line uh, on the retail sales front, although the X fuel certainly came in slightly stronger okay so on a month-to-month -month basis so certainly positive news there for the uh, the uk along with the uh, the actual uh, average hourly earnings yesterday as well so certainly is lifting the FTSE 100 today uh, also what's lifting the FTSE and uh, avoiding the sell-off from the uh, u.s market that started from the u.s market is really the um, the actual sterling uh, sterling certainly is very weak this morning uh, let's have a look at sterling uh, let's bring up sterling for you so the euro as well, touching 1.04, so you're weaker euro, weaker sterling, uh, and both are acting like a potential stimulus for uh, UK and EU equities. Now you can see here on the 60 minute chart, you had quite a flush, the, the four hour chart, you had a rally up to 1.27 and now we're back down to 1.24 again. Okay, now we've had the uh, BOE, and the BOE certainly has sounded uh, uh, dovish, even though the retail sales numbers came in on the stronger side. Okay, so certainly did sound uh, dovish, and that certainly is helping the FTSE 100. Now, we are coming into support on Sterling very shortly around the 1.24 zone, so therefore a bias would certainly be considered uh, potentially bearish for equities. But given the fact that we have this uh, report with regards to uh, Italy, uh, potential Italy government ready to intervene with Euro 15 billion to recapitalize alien banks, so the banking concerns certainly are being alleviated as well. Also, the uh, Euro at 1.04 certainly is acting like a potential stimulus along with the stronger PMIs as well. It certainly seems to be in uh, in euphoria land at the moment, okay. The French CAC, we'll come on to the technicals shortly, okay. So let's start off with the German DAX and let's see exactly where we stand with the German DAX and the daily chart. Daily chart at the moment, we are into that pivot R3 R resistance. The next potential resistance on the uh, German DAX and the daily chart really is uh, is seen at 11.430. That's the next potential resistance. On the weekly chart, we do have resistance on the weekly. Let's bring this up for you. Weekly chart, again, you have uh, 11,360, 11,430. So that's the two zones of uh, potential resistance that you have, and which corresponds with the daily chart as well. Okay, even though, yes, we have uh, the potential hawkish stance from Yellen, it certainly is acting like a potential stimulus for European equity. So just bear that in mind, okay? In terms of the 60-minute chart, the German DAX at the moment, again, we are potentially stalling here at the pivot loan. So you've, we've certainly put in a potential double top now on the uh, German DAX. So it'll be interesting to see if we can revisit that. Okay, uh, it'll be interesting to see how the market responds to that. 11.335. Just bear in mind the daily chart does have 11.400 resistance, okay? In terms of the French CAC, let's bring up the French CAC for you. Daily chart still consolidating. You do have horizontal resistance, which has been holding at 4,800. Okay, so that certainly needs to be respected. 60-minute chart, we have been consolidating in this bull flank, so certainly uh, an argument there to, for us to continue to move higher. 10-minute chart, we have actually made a new high in the French CAC, so bear that in mind, okay? So it needs to be respected, so higher highs and higher lows, as we already know, and bias certainly still remains bullish at present. Okay, moving on to the FTSE 100 weekly chart, we're still within that uh, bearish candle, so daily weekly chart certainly is bearish. A daily chart at the moment is putting in a doji candle, 
as we speak. 60 minute chart, we're certainly topping out at this 6970 zone. We've hit a high of 6973 this morning, so certainly topping out there. An impressive thrust, regardless. Pulse the uh, retail sales data, okay. So again, we've uh, hit resistance at 6970, therefore looking for reverse, and that's what we're seeing and witnessing at present. Okay, so that's basically the uh, the actual uh, outcome at present on the FTSE. Again, with the Chinese markets weak and obviously uh, the uh, interest rates are on the verge of going higher as well. Again, these are all arguments to uh, potentially uh, move lower on the FTSE. From my perspective, again, if we go back to the 6960 zone, that's the zone that I'll be happy to uh, enter or re-enter on my short position. European equities, like I said, are being helped by the weaker euro. Okay, certainly being helped by the weaker euro. We had a pivot high of 3246 before we started to reverse again. So again, a higher high has been established. So it certainly needs to be respected. And again, you could certainly make a higher low here and then again, higher high. So certainly bullish price action here from European equities or EU equities helped by the weaker euro. Okay. Right, folks, I think that's a uh, summation. Now, the euro itself on the weekly chart, we've actually broken the uh, key support that was here at 1.0450. Now, we're in no man's land, really, in terms of the next potential move. I mean, we could certainly move very quickly or we could certainly fail altogether. So, again, certainly needs to be observed, okay? If that were to go, then it certainly does open up the path to further weakness in the euro, which in turn will help European equities move higher. So if you just remember that uh, potential uh, link and chain, it should be uh, well. Okay, on that note, be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.